Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighbor Dragons here, presenting to you another commentary. Today we're going to be looking at the WZ Model 1-4. Now, I can't say too much about the history of this vehicle, etc, etc. Um, if you do know the game at all, you do realize that there is a Tier 8 WZ-111. Um, let's not get confused with the Tier 9. I'm not even really going to mention too much the difference between the Model 1-4 and the, the Premium Tier 8. The, 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 same, the base tank is pretty much the same. Like, if you get the stock version of this and that thing, same tank. I mean, I'm not knocking it. This thing's a pretty good tank. Once you get the 130 and all that, it becomes a very well, very good tank. Um, if you'll notice, right off the start, I, I popped in the heat shells. This thing's got a 130 millimeter gun and a 13, 14 second reload time. And for what I'm about to be doing with it, I, I need the, the additional pop of some premium shells. You'll be seeing shortly. Um, I apologize. I have it set on uh, the view that I did while I was playing the game because I want you to, to kind of have a reference point of what I did. I recognize that the middle was lost. Like, the, if our mediums would have gone the middle, they would have been able to own it. But as you see here, I'm I'm pretty deep in this. So let's see if I can't get a hold of this. what I want. There we go. Take control of it now. As you see, I have some opportunities to, to shoot up in the middle. Let's let's watch this. I have an opportunity and boom. Some RNG right there. But let's let's keep our eyes forward. Let's see. We have one object 260, which is the um, tier 10 you get upon completing all the personal missions. So this guy either has to be really lucky or really good. That was kind of he sat there in the open, his engine was damaged. So he wasn't going anywhere. So you have an Object 260 who's, who's bossing it up right there. And you've got a WZ, or a, sorry, not WZ's a, you'll be here shortly. You have a VK whose frontal armor is second to none at a tier 9. You have a T-54, which is probably one of the best tier 9 meds there is just all around. You have a T-30. Um, the WZ will be along shortly. So you're, you're talking about like five tanks sitting in front of me that I'm, and I made a, and a fundamental mistake here. You need to shoot right below where I shot. Unfortunately, my depression just isn't that. And an IS-7. So we have six tanks overall that are coming into the fray. And you have me on point, and you have one, two, three tanks behind me. So we're, we're clearly overmatched. The only thing that saves us is their middle is incompetent because, because frankly, they had the opportunity to take us. And... Um, our guys were staying on point. They were doing what they needed to. I've already racked up 2,600 damage from just staying on point and keeping my gun hot. And that's what the key is, is if you can just keep pounding and damaging, then, then you have a very solid chance of, of staying in the game. And here we have this T-30 who's suiciding. Like, there, there's no reason he should be this far up or where he's at. He's out of place. And artillery... That guy bossed it this game, like absolute baller. Because if you noticed, there's four of them in this small area, and Artie can hit right in here. So if you're an artillery player, I want you guys to keep notice of, uh, of what's going on. Because that Artie is going sl is gonna to slam around in here shortly, and it's going to make all the difference. Um, I think it takes him a minute to to reload, but not, it doesn't take him a minute to reload. And that that got lucky right there. If if I want to bounce that shot, it'd have been game game set match. But turret, um, I, it's a quick game. I, I don't know what to tell you. It was just if you're in this position and you're up a t if you're out tiered, just get dug in. Like just get into the fight and just if like this rock. If I would have let them have this rock, you count one, two, three, four, five six seven tanks seven tanks against the what the three or four of us that were up here if i wouldn't have taken this front position right here they would have moved all the way to the corner right there so if you can be aggressive and get like a spot that's just a boss position and i finally get taken down 
I have to I have to uh, give props to that artillery our artillery player, the M53. I mean, he bossed this up for us. I I held that position like a champ. I I, I got to give props to our props are due guys. I mean, Artie was doing a good job. And you always got to give give guys some some thanks when they do something right. Just let them know they're doing a good job. Um, my suggestion is, is if you're in a position like this and your team's kind of sitting back, if you can get in a position like I was in, they can't really push around you without exposing to the guys behind you. And you can't go nowhere, but you're holding them so they can't push past you without risking a lot. That's what you want. You want to put yourself in the thick of it and give your team the greatest opportunity to do damage while you're holding them back. And that's my suggestion for you guys. Hope you have a great day. And as always, stay frosty.